Hey YouTubers, Vader here. Uh, this video is going to be a techie video, kind of a how-to thing. I'm going to be doing work on my CVT. Um, I had an issue with it with my uh, Yamaha Majesty here, and uh, it's on my left. But um, <clears throat> anyways, when I'd be doing about 15 to 25 miles an hour, if I was doing about if I was just moving along at 15 miles an hour and I wanted to accelerate a little bit, I'd get a vibration. And I thought it was a little excessive. Uh, I don't remember it being as much as it was. So what I was told was through some other, you know, a lot of forum sources, uh, Majesty USA and stuff, that they say that uh, you could have a couple of things. Uh, glazing on the clutch pads or and or the uh, variator weights could either have a flat spot or be gummed up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect all that and um, replace uh, some stuff anyways. I bought new weights <clears throat> but I'm going to replace them and I just got some parts in today and I want to do a little quick video on that. Um, I got these parts from um, this is Babbitt's online. That's Babbitt's online. I'll put the link down below, uh, down there. But anyways, this is uh, they uh, come up with uh, cheapest OEM. Uh, spent a little over a hundred dollars, I think it was, maybe a hundred, like a hundred ten dollars for all the parts. But it's Babbitt's Sports Center. They're out of. Muskegon, Michigan, which keeps it at home, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, keeps it in, in my, my state. But anyways, this was the weights. But anyways, um, I, got, uh, I got the weights in today. They came in today. The other parts came in yesterday. They good shipping and good prices and all that. But this is the weights. These are brand new. I'm going to replace mine. I'm not going to, since I got it all apart, I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to replace them. There's eight of these that go on there. These are genuine uh, OEM parts. I didn't do any different weights uh, and all that kind of stuff. I just did the the uh, ones that come with it, if you will. And they are OEM parts. Um, I also got uh, these slides here came in. Um, I'm not exactly sure where these fit in. I'll know more when I get there. But I'll show these as we go. Um, there's four of them. I've got, uh, again, since I've got it taken apart, they say uh, use two of these. There's two seals. Um, I'm going to uh, obviously uh, replace these. They, uh, there's also an oil seal. These are, again, OEM parts. There's an oil O-ring. Um, I uh, wanted to replace that since I had it apart. Uh, these are OEM parts, and I, again, I spent about hundred and ten dollars, something like that, for all these parts. And I'm going to um, uh, do a step by step. I've got uh, one guy had done ch change some um, his variators. Uh, is a step by step. I'm going to kind of go with that a little bit, but um, I've got my manual and I'm going to kind of go more t with that direction. Um, it's pretty cut and dry. I've already had it apart. Uh, I'm going to use dry lube. I bought some dry lube. I've got, um, you got to clean, clean it with good brake cleaner, the uh, variator portions. Uh, I've also got bought some uh, um, assembly grease. This is extreme pressure because, especially with the uh, spindle, they said that's got to be uh, because that is running at high speeds. I figured I better probably, probably put good stuff on that. But um, so, anyways, that's uh, a project uh, I got coming up this weekend. Um, I'll uh, show all the tips and tricks uh, that I had learned that I learned. From doing this, obviously, um, I uh, also made my own variator tool. 
uh, a lot of things on this, on uh, YouTube on how to and how to do this. So I made my own. So I'll use this to demonstrate how to use that too. But kind of looking forward to doing this video and uh, going to uh, do some work on her. So I hope you like the video and it'll be uh, in parts I think you know type thing possibly it depends on how large these videos are but anyways um, so I hope you like it and comments and uh, we'll go from there this is uh, it for now so I uh, do this tomorrow um, going to uh, you know use my manual I've already got the uh, pages broke down on how to do this thing basically um, there's a also a uh, another little device that everybody says use of notebooks just I just love them not but uh, this thing here it's a primary clutch holder the uh, but I'm not gonna make that I was told another way to do it and that's the way I'm going to do it so I'm going to make notes on the uh, pages of where to uh, grease and stuff like that. Uh, they tell what type of grease to use. Uh, I'll make notes on what size uh, sockets I use, um, you know, etc., etc. So, anyways, that's uh, forthcoming. So this is um, it for now. And Vader out.